passes Artemanova from the backcourt and it's good possibly the best fight we've seen her from her in the whole of this match so far and maybe even since she arrived I mean led 9-6 finished 15-9 here's Artemanova and that'll come off the block for a side out to Russia which is greeted by screams from the predominantly Chinese audience now getting out successfully three apiece then Park serves Badakzina Nikolina over to Artemanova and just clipping the outside of the line well, a lot of side outs at the moment as Artemanova goes away to take her infamous jump serve. A little bit of practice on her jumping there and only just clipping the line. There it is. And it's on this time. That pleases the crowd. It was as good as a spike as uh, Kim Young Suk had to duck out of the way. 4 3, the Russians lead it. Here comes the jump serve again. Look Artemanova, Valentina back to Artemanova, and the Koreans think there was a touch, and then back she thinks they were over the net, and the referee agrees with them. That'll be a side out to Korea at 5 4. There we see it again. Artemanova head out at 6 5. Hong Yi Yong will serve this one. Nikolina up for Artemanova. She had to come from a long way back. But Ji Yong Hee couldn't deal with it. And another side out for the Russians. Here we see it again. Well, after the note, they were on the roll. Kim serves for Korea at 9-10. Nikolina sets. Arteman over on this side. And off the block. We've got to keep working some variations. Arteman over coming on this side to spike. Did the job. The Russians all the way. Well, there's only been two points separating the two sides maximum of two points between them throughout the whole of this second set and the tight what a great dig from Kim young so how did you retrieve that and Park can't put it away Chebukina to set it up for Artemanova the crowd loves that I have to wait for Kim Nam soon to take Adoxina Nicolina setting for Artemanova again and some super spiking suddenly from her for the Russians Here's the substitution now being allowed for the Koreans. Baraktina yep. receives. Nikolina sets for Atamanova. Well, it might be predictable, but there's not much you can do about it. And the spike's coming at you at 100 kilometres an hour. Can't get down quick enough. Atamanova serves. Better reception from the Koreans on her difficult serve, but the block there again from Nikolina and Tashenko. Nikolina's blocking has been a match for a setting. Artemanova again. So the pressure on Stranova to make this one count. It's reasonably deep. Lee sets the block on her own, Artemanova. Well, Kim sent it straight at her. 14-13 to Russia. Set point, the crowd willing a second set victory here from the Russians. Smirnova doesn't muck about. Lee sets, double block up. Saved by Smirnova. A free ball for the Koreans though. And the block was fooled. They went up too early. And the Koreans win the side out. That, super, that really was a super set on such an important point. The dummy, and it fooled the Russians completely and they've got another side out. Maraktina receives it. Here comes Artemanova. Down goes Kim to receive it. Smanova. Great dig. It's a free ball for the Koreans. It's off park. And it's back to the Russians to serve for the set again. Well, the Coliseum in Hong Kong, not even half full, but they're making enough noise for a full crowd. Lee sets. G, the block, Nikolina, and that's the set to the Russians, 15-13, and Nikolina, who has set so well and blocked so well, wins them the set, and we're a set apiece, China's hopes for a place in the final still alive. Incredible, after just a bit away, but referee says there was an infringement of the net and the Russians have another side out at two love up Menshova a dipping serve Lido he sets this side for G 
Good dig from the Russians. Suddenly things beginning to look better for them. Artem and Nova, and the block is out, and that will be three love. And that's the biggest advantage that the Russians have had at any point. All going against the Koreans at the moment. Not happy with a couple of the decisions. Menshova. And the call was for out. And at the moment, poor old Hong Yi Yon is having a nightmare few points. She gave the first two points, I think it was, of the set. Now she's given a third away. And G is underneath it, but the Koreans are really struggling at the moment. And the block is spot on from Chebakina for six love. And the Russians are absolutely running away with this third set at the moment. The big difference between the Korean effort here and the third set is that they're giving up unforced errors. They were three of them in the first set. Not so now. G goes up. The block slows it down for the dig at the back from Tashenko. Artemanova! Look at the Russians go. And Shova will serve at 7-0 after that spike from Artem to exploit in this third set and they've made the most of it up till now 8-1 they lead and that's better digging from the Russians as well for G up goes the block chance for Nicolina to set Chebukina says put it to Artem and Nova it's going to come straight back and out and that will be 9-1 to Russia well really if they don't take this third set then something will be exceedingly wrong Nicolina just watching it out Making sure, and that's been the difference. Oh, lovely reach from Nicolina. Chebakina for Artem and Nova, the touch, and it's the right touch for 10-1. The crowd is going absolutely crazy now. They have visions of China in that final against Cuba. And this is a different side. The, the Russians just haven't shown us this kind of form. We know they're capable of it. Well, how much will they be regretting dropping that opening set because three love and they could have gone through to the final themselves. Four times Olympic champions. 68, 72, 80. And Park Su Jung serves. Kibakina. Tashenko for Artemanova. Well, the crowd, I'm sure, while they want uh, the Russians to win, they're also enjoying that stand. They've steadied the ship at the moment. It was an eight love lead, and they've held them at 10 2 for a while. And they won't now. Chibukina with the block for 11 2. And the Russians, well, there's an inevitability about this at the moment. Well, it wasn't Chebukina, it was Artem Anova with the block, in fact. And here's Menshova to put them that step closer. It's going to be G and a good block. And this time it was Chebukina. Smiles all over her face for 12-2. Menshova will serve. There it is again, just go off. She's been doing some good spiking. We'll see if Karpol's made the right move as far as Russia's concerned. Artem Anova. Thank you. 12-2, side out, across to the Russians, three points away, Park to serve again. Morozova digs it out, that's a better set, and a better result for Russia. Kim unable to control the dig, and Chebukina, 14, it's a better serve, problem for Baraktina, out wide, Artemanova. And tipped over by Chebukina. Came straight back to the Russians, and Chebukina took the right option. Little organization in the defense at the net. Chebukina serving for the set now. <laughs> Dug by Menshova. Artemanova for the set. Yes! At last. It took some doing. But in just over 18 minutes, the Russians take the set. 15-5 and China's hope still alive very much so and if uh, the Russians take this next set the sadness for the ladies in red is that they will be shut out of either the final or the third and fourth place playoff if Russia take the next set and win it 3-1 it will be China in the final and Russia in the playoff for third and fourth place Kim serves Baraktina, and Baraktina again, Park digs, and Park with a spike, but a nice block from Artemanova and Chebukina. The Russians looking to get something going here in the fourth. Well, it's been a struggle for them so far. I thought that uh, having won the last two sets, that the momentum would really be in the favour of the Russians, and then super blocking again from Nikolina and Chebukina, who's Russia.